So, hello and welcome to today's lesson in our study of complex analysis. So, today we'll be talking about derivatives of contour integrals, okay? So, this is going to be a continuation of our video in complex analysis. Recall that in our previous video, we talked about the contour integral and we introduced to a challenge and you realize that before we could solve that challenge, we had to treat something. And that's what we are treating today. So, derivatives of contour integrals. So, if you haven't watched the previous video, you would like to do that before following this so that the understanding becomes better. So, I'm going to kind of off a final year student of mathematics, KNUST. And, and I'll be taking you through this lesson. Please don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel and like the video if it helps you. Well, thank you very much. Let's continue. So recall that um, the Cauchy's integral formula was given by what we have here, right? In our previous video, we showed that to you. So suppose we differentiate both sides of this formula, form formally with respect to um, holding z fixed with respect to a holding z fixed assuming that differentiation under the integral sign is legitimate then we obtain what you can see here right so we differentiate the left hand side then we differentiate the right hand side so doing this differentiation is going to give us f prime of a will be equal to what we have here so actually when we get here then with the right hand side we have one over two pi i then the integral then what we have here you'll first have this so we'll first have this so we bring the derivative inside okay and when we do that then we end up with this so we are going to get f prime of a will be equal to 1 over 2 pi i then whatever you can see here and with the same case when you have um something with the power 2 here and you do this particular um differentiation you are going to have to the power 3 here and you're going to have 2 here all right so when you were also having something to the power 3 here doing this differentiation would have given us 6 here which is 3 factorial here even i've gotten to the power 4 here all right so i'm doing all these because you're coming to generalize something okay so i hope you get what you've been doing so far so you let me write it in the original form so we're having to the power 1 here and this gives us 1 we're having to the power 2 here so now in general differentiating n times yields so that, that was what I was trying to illustrate with changing the powers. So you're going to have whatever we have here. Okay. So with this, we can also bring this sign inside. Then when we do that, we are going to end up with what we have here. So the most important thing is for you to know the end results, okay? So this one is just differentiation, not complex analysis. So this happens to be the end results. Then let's try to simplify it. So simplifying it is going to give us this equation here. And this happens to be a very important equation. There's something you should take note of because all questions that you'll be solving, you'll be using this particular equation. It's very, very important. So take a look at it. So you see we have, when you have the closed integral of f of z, z minus a, then power n plus 1 dz along a contour c, then it's given by what we have here. So if you didn't understand anything from the differentiation, you can play the video again 
before you follow up in the examples, okay? But don't worry, as we solve examples, the understanding will become better and clearer. So, let's solve examples. So, we'll be solving two examples. We'll be evaluating the following integrals. So, this, where, and this. So, this where our C is a circle with radius 3, and this to our contour C is a circle with radius 1 and center 0. So, we'll be solving these two questions, okay? So, let's solve the first question. So, the first question is the close integral of C, then E2Z over Z plus 1 O raised to the power 4 dz. Where our C is a circle with center 0 and radius 3. So we recall that it said we have it of this form. Where the C happens to be the center of the circle and the R is the radius. So with this, the center is 0 and the radius is 3. So, you know, here we have to the power 4 here. So we can use our normal... Um, Cauchy integral formula as we discussed in the previous video to solve that, right? So that's the reason why today we are discussing the derivatives of the um, Cauchy integral formula. So our radius is 3, center is 0. Then our e happens to be minus 1. So it happens to be minus 1 because you know it was of the form. So you get all these things from following the videos that we did. Okay. So where we s there was a term that we said that this R A has to fall inside the circle or on the circle, right? So because we have Z minus A here, here we have Z plus 1. So it is Z minus minus 1. So that means that our A is minus 1. So the next thing is to check whether our A falls within the circle or outside the circle. So if it falls outside the circle, then by the Cauchy's theorem, that integral is 0. But if it's false within, then we can use the formula to compute it, okay? So you can see that the radius of the circle is 3. The center is 0, so the radius is 3. So we're going to also have minus 3 here, 3 here, and minus 3 here. So A equals negative 1 will fall within the circle. So whether at this point or at that point, it's within the circle. So that means since A is within the circle, or falls within the circle, then we can use it. Cauchy's integral formula. So here, I said A falls inside the circle. So we use the formula, okay? So the formula is given by this 2 pi i over n factorial, then the m derivative of f of A is equal to the closed integral, but even yeah, the closed integral of C in, along the contour C, what we have here. So even here, if you like, you can make here f of z. But we do the differentiation and evaluate at the point z equals e. Okay, so it's the same thing. So now making comparisons to the question. So comparing these two. So you could see that n plus 1 is equal to 4. So that means that our n is 3. Then you could see that f of z is equal to e to z. And a is equal to negative 1. We've already explained that. So the next thing to do is to put that inside our equation here, our formula. So putting that inside our formula, we're going to get the integral of this is equal to 2 pi i over n factorial but here n is 3 so over 3 factorial then we are going to differentiate three times right of our function f of z which is e to z at the point z equals negative 1 because a is negative 1 let me clean it and rewrite it well so when you, this is our f of z, when you find the first derivative, you get this. 
the second derivative you get this and the third derivative you get that all right so we can make that substitution here and we are evaluating it at the point z equals negative one since a is negative one so when you put in that we have this all right then it will give us two pi i over three factorial times e is the power negative two then when you multiply this, you're going to get 16 pi i e raised to the power negative 2 over 6. <coughs> okay, so, you know, we can simplify this. And so when you take 2, then it gives us 8. Then this is going to give us 8 over 3 pi i e raised to the power negative 2. So we've been able to use the derivative of the Cauchy integral formula, the generalized one, the generalized one to solve this particular integral like complex value integral so this happens to be the answer to our question so now let's solve a second example so with the second example you know from here we know the center of our circle is zero the radius is one and the point of the singularity point okay is zero don't worry a is zero a is the same as the singularity point we will discuss that in our subsequent videos so when you draw the circle a radius is one a is zero you realize that a equals zero falls within the circle it falls inside the circle so that means we can apply the couches integral formula right so Recall that the formula is given as this. So making comparisons to the question which is given to us, you can see that our f of z is cosh z. And our n plus 1 is equal to 3. So that means n is 2. And our f of z is cosh, cosh z. So since our n is 2, that means we have to find we have to differentiate three times. So we find the second derivative of our function f of z. So our function f of z is cosh z. f prime of z will be sin z. And f prime prime of z will be cosh z. The next thing is to substitute that into the formula that we stated earlier on. So that will be 2 pi i over n factorial. That's 2 factorial times cosh g. And we evaluate that at a. That's z equals 0 because a is 0. So when you know 2 pi i over 2 factorial times, when you put 0 inside cosh, 0 is 1. So we have 1 here. And you know here 2 cancel 2 because 2 factorial is the same as 2. So we just have pi i is equal to this. So that means the integral of cosh z over z cubed z along the circle with radius 1 and center 0 is pi i. Very simple. So we are done with this. So realize that it is very, very simple to use the Cauchy's integral formula to evaluate complex integrals. So in our next video, we'll be talking about a lot of stuff, interesting stuff like the singularity points and a whole lot of stuff. So stay tuned and all the best. So if you didn't get anything, you can always replay the video to get a concept very well. Okay. Thank you very much.